A river snakes towards the horizon in beauty, rippling, languid and serene, yielding yet strong, unrelenting but deadly. My face reminds me of pain, wet slushes, my reflections, silent rumble that fails to wash away the soul that life made in my heart. It's an iciness that rains of autumn, glimmers of summer, flowers and the fragrances of spring can never heal. Sometimes things we remember are not exactly as it was, and truth wears a mask with time. But one face remains etched in my soul, and I come here every day just to watch the sun journey in the skies and I enjoy vestiges of innocence in a world where the journey of decorum has come to an end. My heart bleeds as I watch children play in the park. Their ring of laughter tugs at my wound, the wound of a boy who was never a boy. A boy cut off from childhood, a child man, the one I could not help to play, the one whose face is embedded in my soul. I hold his knife, a relic of his bitter life, a token of a boy whose playmate was sheer agony. Sharp as a razor, he grew in the jaws of death. Glints of sunlight dims, another day ends, but my pain has no end. Memories I wish weren't true of that face of that boy became a beast in a teenage body. I called him Moses because I found him drowning in life's deep end. This knife in my hand was his treasure and his best friend. Six inches of cold steel was his good luck charm. The cross he had scratched on the handle a souvenir of a dim memory of God. With this blade, he shaved, he ate, and he killed. When I met him, he had given up his rifle, but this knife dropping in my hands was his only link to his past. I walked with him many times to the place where his past lay buried. The cold, dark terror of that one night when his parents were killed, his sisters raped. That midnight of the spire, when at eight he was abducted and forced to become a soldier. Moses was a boy fed on hate, strong on drugs, until his conscience was fried. He woke up every day waiting for the bullet with his name or the machete to carve a freedom into a new life, a, a new life beyond the pain he had lived. I had to grapple with this grief when I made him my friend and tried to make him human again. What I could never grasp or understand was the pleasure it gave some people to turn a child into a beast, into a suicide bomber, into a soldier, pump him high on opium and hate and give him a gun and grenade in the name of struggle for freedom. What kind of struggle for freedom is that where innocence is killed and buried all in the name of the Lord? This riverbed is a place I have chosen for my friend. I will bury his memory here. The memory of children abused, brutalized by war in this world. I have traveled long enough with you, Moses, to know that nothing can dull my ache or heal the pain that is in my heart. But this clear riverbed, I hope you will find peace here. And I hope my heart will rest from the trope of my wound. Farewell.
my good friend. 